the, I think it's very interesting. I love the word revelation in Scripture because it comes from a, a Greek word, apokalypsis. It's where we get the word apocalypse, okay? But apokalypsis, apo means to remove, and kalypsis means the veil or the curtain. So in other words, if you've got curtains on this window, you've got all kinds of stuff happening outside the window, but if you've got a veil or a curtain on the window, you can't see it. So you don't know how to respond to it. You're unaware of what's taking place, perhaps right there within your, within your range of vision, but you can't see it because there's something obscuring it. Apocalypsis means to remove the veil. Everybody do this, to remove the veil and to remove the curtain, amen? That's what happens with discernment. God begins to remove the veil, begins to remove the curtain so that we can clearly see the things that God is assigning to us. Amen? Now, let me read you a scripture out of Daniel chapter 4. Daniel chapter 4. Hang on just a second. Daniel chapter 4 declares this. It says, the decision is by the decree of the watchers. Now, the watchers could either be an angelic host that have been sent to protect. It literally means wakeful, watchful ones. But it's also speaking, I believe, of a watchman company. I think the church for too long has had a K sera sera, whatever will be, will be mentality. And we don't understand that the decision about the tipping point, the decision about a nation, the decision about a region is actually by the decree of those that are watching. So when we watch, we need to learn how to make decrees. And the sentence by the word of the holy ones, that's us, in order that the living may know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men, gives it to whomever he will, and sets it over the lowest of men. In other words, he establishes structure. He establishes order when the enemy wants only chaos. How do we overthrow chaos? How do we overthrow the authority of chaos that I spoke about last night? We establish divine order. How do we do that? The decisions are by the decree of the watchers. How many want to be watchers? Amen. Let me read you another scripture. Isaiah 62 verse 6 says, On your walls, O Jerusalem, I have appointed watchmen. All day and all night, they will never keep silent. Listen to this. You who remind the Lord, take no rest for yourselves. Now listen, does God need reminding? <laughs> God does not need reminding, but we need reminding. So I think as we remind the Lord, what we're actually doing is reminding ourselves. So that's where we go back and we say, Lord, you said in your word. Lord, you said prophetically over my life. Come on, if you're battling for the life of one of your children like I shared with you last night, you know what I did? I reminded the Lord. I said, God, prophetically, this is what's been spoken over my daughter's life. Prophetically, this is what you've decreed over her life. Prophetically, these are the promises from your word that have been written in the Bible. Lord, I'm reminding you what your word said because guess what? What it was doing was activating my faith to begin to see the turnaround. So the watchmen are watching not just what's happening in the spirit today, but we've got to watch over the words. How many know it says that God watches over his word to perform it? God watches over his word, but we've got to watch over the words. That's why it's beneficial to go back and read prophecies that have been spoken over the state, not just last year or the year before, but let's go back and read the prophetic words, the prophetic promises that have been spoken over the last number of decades. That's why it's good to go back in history and see the victories that God has given to your state through history so that you can remind the Lord, God, you know what? You brought major tipping points in the Revolutionary War right out of this place, the seat of, uh, of, this, this seat of beginnings in this nation nation, I think New Jersey, if I'm correct, was the first state to sign the Bill of Rights. Was that true? Is that amazing? See, you know, when you go back, you remind the Lord of that. 
God, when our rights are being taken away, when our rights are being rolled over, God, you made us a forerunner state that signed the Bill of Rights for our nation. God, we are a state that's going to watch over that, that's going to war over that, that's going to contend over our destiny. Come on, that's how we watch. That's how we remind the Lord. And it says, do not keep silent. Your mouth has got to be moving. Your mouth has got to be decreeing. Do you realize that the word meditate? See, I'm just, I'm shaking you this morning. Because see, we get stuck in this meditative process. The word meditate in scripture doesn't mean think it over and over in your mind. Do you know what it actually means? It means to murmur it under your breath. To move your mouth. To make a sound. Even if you're not speaking it out loud. Come on, when we're, when we're learning scripture, we, we can't just memorize it in our head. We've got to speak it out of our mouth. And God is wanting a sound to come out of New Jersey. It's not just a matter of watching. It's a matter of the decree that the decision is by the sound, the decree that the watchers make. In this decade of pay, we've got to understand how to align our mouth with the word of the Lord and not keep silent. And constantly remind the Lord, remind ourselves, remind the atmosphere, remind the principalities and powers, remind the angelic force. You realize that angels listen for the sound of God's word. Come on, we're maybe not bossing angels around, but they're listening for the sound of God's word. And then they're mobilized to go out and carry it out. Do you know angels don't know what you think? Angels are not omnipotent. They are not all-knowing. What do angels know? They know what we speak. By the way, demons are also not all-knowing. Demons also know what, do not know what we think, but they know what we say. Some of you have been binding the devil. I'm telling you, you need to start binding yourself, okay? Because you don't even need a devil. You're speaking curses against yourself, against your family, out of your own mouth. Come on. Lay your hand on your head and say, I bind myself in Jesus' name, okay? Come on, sometimes we've got to stop speaking the negative. We've got to stop, spe stop speaking what the enemy has decreed and start saying what God has decreed. Stop cursing the United States of America. Get your mouth in alignment with what God has said because God has said America shall be saved. <laughs> 